Ah, the Balkans. Europe's most dysfunctional family. Filled with corruption, immigration, poor and angry straight men, women, and only straight men and women. We don't like non-straight men and women or other genders. So please, go away if you are, dare I say it, part of the LGBT community. My Balkan babushka does not approve of you. Just kidding. I mean, not about my Balkan babushka, but yeah, you can stay. Anyways, we also have art. Wait, what? You heard me well, my friend. The Balkans have art, and might I say it, beautiful art, combining traditions and modernism, aesthetics and artistic grotesque. And yet, I bet you don't even know about it. I don't blame you, because neither do I, to be honest. That is why I'm starting this channel. To learn more about the art of the region I was born and raised, as well as to teach others. To be more precise, I was born in Bulgaria, but in this channel, I'll be covering all Balkan countries. Those being Greece, Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo, Macedonia, Montenegro, Albania, Croatia, Romania, and Bulgaria. Keep in mind, not all of them are fully located in the Balkans, but I am counting them as Balkan countries, since a large part of their territory does lay in the Balkans. And I'll be covering everything. From the first ever located art pieces to some newer art. Communist art, as well as contemporary, including digital. But why am I doing it? To show you that we do have something to show and give to the world. And that not, not all of us Balkan people are Baiganos. Wait, you don't know what a Baiganyo is? Well, let me tell you. Baiganyo is a character by the Bulgarian writer Aleko Konstantinov, depicting everything a person wanted to work. Yeah, hi, I'm pausing here to elaborate. I wanted to say everything a person wouldn't want to be. Okay, yeah, that's all for me. Thank you. Uneducated, ignorant, impolite, even cruel and corrupted. By the way, Literature historians are still arguing whether Baiganyo is inspired by the mentality of the Bulgarian people or the, or the Balkan people as a whole. Either way, we're not all like that. And I want to prove that to you through, in my opinion, the purest form of human communication. Art. But then again, who am I to do that? Well, hi, I am Maria and as I said, I am from Bulgaria. I am not an art specialist, I'm not studying art history or anything like that, but I am planning to apply to college and study art history, so yes. Thank you for being here, and thank you if you decide to stay because this project really means a lot to me. I promise it will be interesting, worthy of your time, and hopefully it will be enough, interesting enough for you to stick around, maybe even visit a Balkan country someday. You know, we won't attack you with shovels, and also not all of us wear socks with sandals. Although there are people who do it. Depending on which part of the Balkans you go to, but yeah. All jokes aside though, um, keep in mind the LGBT thing was a joke. Uh, I didn't want anybody to leave. You know, I, I'm, I'm... Okay, I'm not homophobic. It was a joke. Please, please, please. I'm just... It was a reference to the Balkans being... Pretty homophobic. Anyways, I, a joke. I have friends who are LGBT, LGBT, so and I want to go to Pride in 2021. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. If there is no COVID, or you know, it's allowed to. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully, I'll see you around. Bye.